And so after hearing about the macroeconomic situation in the Dominican Republic, we're now ready to talk about tourism, one of the most important sectors in the country. The Dominican Republic have been focused on tourism for many years. Uh, we as a government, uh, we have a plan that have been discussed and agree with the private sector. Um, we've been in the process to um, develop uh, a serious uh, program in order to receive 10 million tourism in 2020. In order to do that, we have to expand the offer of new uh, rooms, new hotels, and uh, we've been expanding the, uh, the capacity or the diversity of the offered in terms of uh, be able to present a uh, service for different levels of, of tourism. So at the moment, you're quite specific in your offering. You tend to offer all-inclusive resorts. But now you want to go beyond that and try to uh, create a tourism sector that really helps developing other little businesses um, uh, outside of it as a consequence of, um, right. of, a, of a diversified offering. Right. Uh, in, in order to do that, the government have been investing uh, the, the money in infrastructure in order to expand the, the possibility of develop of new areas that are going to be able to offer this type of this level of, of service for this new kind of tourism we want to attract to the Dominican Republic. So infrastructure uh, has been developed, you all I'm sure are benefiting from uh, better, faster highways. Now you can go from Santo Domingo to Punta Cana in less than two hours. I'm right. sure you're all taking advantage of that and taking advantage of the lovely... I'm from Punta Cana to Mijes in 50 minutes. And I'm glad you mentioned uh, Mijes because I know you have uh, a, a big, a big investment uh, going on in that area, can you tell us a bit about it? No, yes, just to reiterate, uh, this is a, a, a development which uh, the president wants to make sure it happens because it would change the type of tourism mm -hmm. which will be received in the Dominican Republic. It will be a five star plus tourism which we, we change, we want, hope to change the paradigm of the industry and we hope our Spanish friends who own many of the other chains, and American friends, change uh, the, the four-star hotels to five stars. Mm -hmm. We have a great opportunity now. We have a president who wants to do it. We have the banks who want to finance, yeah. and we have the tourists who want to come. The Chinese market alone is gigantic, and they have tons of money. So it, the time is now. The time is now. Can you tell us a bit more about the, the Mitchell's development? So it's an area that's um, well, it's a it's very rather large poor. Area. It's a very large area which has not been uh, mm -hmm. touched. Uh, it, it's, um, to, it, th you can fit about 15 hotels yeah. eventually. Okay. It's that big. We will start with, we will brand, brand it with Four Seasons mm -hmm. because we want the highest. Yeah. But uh, hopefully when the Four Seasons Hotel is finished, in two years time we will have, in a year's time we will have the beginning of another hotel and the beginning of, so every year we will have the, the, the beginning of another hotel. So it's going to be very, very large. Uh, and we, we probably, be, we're talking about uh, 50,000 beds there. Yeah, so it's big projects. Uh, we're talking about infrastructure, uh, ports are also being developed and built to um, accommodate for cruise ships coming to the country. Um, what's going to be the impact of these developments? on tourism and the economy. We've seen that already Carnival has opened uh, their port in the north part of the island. And also we have some uh, cruise ships coming into Samana. But now with the experience of Carnival coming into the Dominican Republic, we've seen other, uh, we know about other uh, cruise ship companies. They're also interested in building uh, two more ports in the north part of the country. And this kind of tourism is different because they come inside the island to explore the island and interact also with the community and also expanding in, in different attractions and also uh, going inside the towns and uh, uh, communicating and, and interacting with the community. So we see that the, the cruise ship uh, uh, business, tourism business is going to be coming and growing more and more and more. And, and also you mentioned Cuba. I think the Cuba opening also it will help the DR to also have more cruise ships because maybe in the route we can, uh, being so close, it will be something that we can do together. 
So Cuba obviously can offer both opportunities but challenges. Definitely. Because, because, um, but there will be also, I think there will be more opportunities mm -hmm. than challenges for us. Very good. And you're developing now, so you're trying to get there before Cuba does with uh, attracting lots of investments. I think, the, well, uh, what we talked also before about uh, this uh, French company called Vinci, mm -hmm. that they just bought uh, the rest of the airports uh, in the DR. Mm -hmm. They come in also, uh, very experienced uh, company in the airport business. So they're coming also to the Dominican Republic because of the future of the tourism and also to upgrade and invest in the airports to, uh, 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 and, to and to bring more tourists also to the DR. So I think that uh, all these uh, uh, investment in infrastructures that we are seeing, is, uh, we see a very, very good future for the tourism. Very good. Uh, and so we've talked about tourism, a very important sector for the Dominican Republic, and now we're ready to talk about the financial sector.